In this lab, together with living bees, there are these cylindric metallic structures. They are robotic bees. They interact with real bees and are accepted as members of their society. We are in the University of Graz, Austria, where scientists use the robots to learn how the bees live and to influence their behavior. Knowing and influencing the bees' behavior for the first time from inside the hive will not only reshape the way humans interact with animal societies, but also help to develop new methods to protect this endangered species and hence the environment. The three ways that the robots can affect the bees are temperature, these metal plates that are normally covered by wax can be heated up by the robot and the bees are attracted uh, to the warmth. Then uh, there are slits in this robot where air can be blown out very gently that redistributes the bees when they are at a place where you don't want to have them. And there is vibration. They can vibrate, they can also vibrate in patterns and this is a signal that bees react to also in the hive very good. A similar experiment takes place in EPFL in Lausanne, Switzerland. Here, researchers have developed a fish robot that can integrate perfectly into schools of zebrafish. The robot has magnets that link it to a tiny engine installed under the aquarium to propel it through the water. The robot can influence the fish's behavior but also adapts its own behavior by learning how to communicate and move like they do. Frank Bonnet is one of the authors of the experiment. The first part of the project was to find the right uh, stimuli, so the right signals that the fish will perceive so that the fish thinks it's one of them. So now we have managed to make experiments with only fish and compare experiments with fish and robots. And we can see that they are sim the, the two are similar, which means that the robots are integrated inside the group and can also act as leaders. Both experiments with bees and fish run under the SCZBF project, supported by the research line on future and emerging technologies of the European Commission. Thomas Schmickel, coordinator of SCZBF, is professor at the Zoology and Artificial Life Lab at the University of Graz. The main goal of the project is to bring autonomous robots into animal society and reach their total social inclusion. We are going for the honeybee hive of the future. You know that honeybees are under stress today. There is this colony collapse and this is threatening agriculture and that's our food, for example. And uh, we are going for developing a future beehive where such technologies may be in a different form, but the same principles are used. And in Assisi, we are now for the first time gathering these principles because nobody knows about them today. And with this future beehive, um, we will make honeybee society stronger to survive better and to cope with the environment in a better way. And this, of course, has then an economic impact also. Here a bee is being born. Maybe the bees of the future will accept to live together with robots. And the life of beekeepers will change. But protection of endangered species is not the only goal of the project. Robots integrated in animal societies could be used in biomedical research and, for example, for the management of domestic animal stocks with low stress. Could new technologies help give these bees a brighter future?